let us continue with our modeling uh, in the previous class uh, you looked at how to create the spring attach the spring so that the torso and the hip are moving and then we modeled the tail using a capsule a taper modifier and a bend modifier and we are going to animate the tail with the bend direction okay uh, we will just create a sphere for the character's head sphere okay and it is better to rotate this 90 degrees to help with texture mapping okay so hopefully that works better we will see that's the head and then uh, we will want the ear so what was the ear made up of ah, I used a cylinder for the ear so let us create a cylinder you can start with the box or any other shape that you think works well uh, you, I think you can use a cylinder or a box these are the two options for the ear part so basically what I have here is ah, wrong place here and then the dog's ears will be somewhere around there okay so let us look at the parameters for the cylinder we'll go to modify panel we don't need any height segments uh, the sides should be few they add a chamfer and fft so there is no so we need more sides 12 or 15 okay and then we need one cap segment so we get these lines all right and then we added what did we add a chamfer maybe we will need two lines there probably And I don't think we need any lights. So that looks good and then what I did was I used a FFT modifier so we'll use FFT and 3.3.3 is good so when you add a FFT modifier you all these vertices can be modified with lesser points so if you move these you can see that you can move that around so we don't need a okay so I'll select these and scale it together so it will be just have to give it an uneven shape that looks like an ear and then it top one moves left here the bottom one moves here as well okay if you want the middle one to 
come out you can do that also and just model it to your liking basically what you think is a good shape for the ear i think the thickness is too much so we'll go back to the height and then you can play with these numbers so this was six what is a good size yeah that's good size of the ear it can be a big ear as well depending on how you want the ear how big the ear you want for the top so let us be seven and then the height can be one yeah a thin one looks better then the control points we can further exaggerate the ear bend the chamfer can be reduced because of that height reduction and that looks good enough maybe it can be scaled a bit okay that's fine Can we try a bend modifier? Will a bend work better? We can try. Okay, we need to see what direction works for the bend. Okay, so and then the direction should maybe it's 90. Let us leave it to what it was instead of wasting time trying to do something different you can experiment with different modifiers and see what works we can then mirror this and then we need to decide the axis and simply move it on the other side We will finish up the foot. So when I animated the character, I was I just used the box to test how things work, and later on I modified the box to create this foot. So we will look at real quick how to do that. Basically, you need a box, and then the box needs a few segments. It's good to use a squarish box. And three segments is good. Okay, we'll convert it to editable poly. shape from this side this side okay we want it to be flat so select these vertices and scale in Y 
many times so it's flat at the base okay so now basically it is a roundish shape so we need to give that roundish shape so from the top view here it is just have to work around okay you can scale this out okay. make this big make this big make this big keep a slight gap so it looks nice then we need to soften it with uh, a chamfer so I'll go to edge and then again in top view we need we need to select all these corner edges so we, only the outer edges from all the sides as you can see one alt to deselect control to select okay so all the outer edges of the geometry we select alt we don't need this okay that's good chamfer it lines if you want I had not added the lines it's a small thing you know, unless you're going to zoom into the leg so I guess we'll not add then top view looks cleaner than this something went wrong but it's okay it's not that important I think the fit were a little longer in this one so we can move this part a bit in the front so that's good enough so we need to
Okay, and then the size of the foot depends on how you want it. I also had a bend here, so we can add that one. I think there has to be some thickness. It's going to be a little difficult to model it now with all these vertices. But I guess all you just need to do is bring this up and bring these down. That should be good enough. Okay, now how big this can be is totally up to you. In big paws, small paws. That looks good enough. Okay, now when we animated, when I animated this character, I did not add any rotation to the foot. But you can see that the pivot point is at the back, so if you do any rotation for the foot, it can happen in the back. Okay, and it is better to have helpers for the fit. I didn't add any helpers but we will do the helpers for this guy so that we have better control over the animation. So in that case, we don't really need to worry about the pivot point. So I'll copy this on this side, position it in the right place, select the two, I need a little bit more distance in the foot and the body because then there can be greater bend in the spring when it stretches. Otherwise, then there's not enough space for the spring to go down. Okay. The head can be little down. Length should not look like they are detached also. Alright, so we'll copy it in the back. Position the back legs. Maybe that's good enough. This is a tricky one about where should be the position. Okay. So in the next class we will look at how to do the texture map for the face and then we'll create the rig.